Uh, hi to everyone. Uh, my name is Fırat and my colleague Johannes. We are coming from Info Music Istanbul, and we like to present our new product, uh, WMT Mobile One. So first of all, I would like to talk about uh, the old mobile systems and its drawbacks, uh, how it is. And as you know, the mobile system usually consists of amplifiers, cables, uh, high mid speakers, uh, a stand for the speakers, uh, uh, subwoofers, and crossover equalizers. So all this stuff makes a huge space. And that's why we think if we can combine all this in one box and uh, make a product, that's why the concept of Mobile One became from this. So we created Mobile One, which is an all-in-one system with built-in amplifier, which is controlled by a DSP. And this is the product. So let's, uh, let's uh, watch a brief uh, short movie, how it works. So here we are. That's the final situation, uh, the first situation. You have the mobile system uh, in the stock. You just take out one um, application. Everything is set up, all parts are set up in one box. So when it comes to the installation, you just uh, unlock the satellite on the back side and lift it up. Um, here, the special. Uh, parts I want to point out are the joints of our mechanism. You don't have to uh, lock it separately. It's just um, is possible to use our product in one move. We can see it later also on our stand. And also a special feature about this way of setting up the satellite is that um, half of the weight of the satellite is always uh, lying on the subwoofer. So you are never, like current mobile sound systems, you are never uh, picking up the satellite and have to adjust it to the stand bar. So this problem is totally solved. Um, here we are. We have the high mid speakers um, over than two meters height. We have the subwoofer above it. And on the back side, we have the DSP processor and three separated amplifiers. A special feature I want to point out on the cabinet is that we have a cable box or a storage box for all other uh, small things you use next to it. Also the soft case of the uh, product will be uh, put in the back side um, while it will be used. And also uh, the wheel, we didn't use standard wheel here to uh, keep the cabinet as slim as possible and also to keep the volume um, as, as high as possible from the uh, subwoofer. So let's come to the technical data. So to, to, to talk uh, in detail about the technical data, uh, we have a, a 140 dB SPL maximum uh, as measured uh, for this speaker system and uh, the the last speaker is it's a, a three-way system and it consists of a, a double 15 inch uh, for woofers, a double 8 inch for uh, mid drivers and one uh, one inch driver compression driver uh, for the uh, high frequencies and uh, for the for the amplifier data we use three separate dedicated amplifiers to drive uh, all this uh, drivers and the total uh, total power output is uh, around 3500 watts which is pretty enough to fit uh, a, a, a small or mid-sized applications for 1000 or 1500 people easily 
And as for the talk about the DSP, it's a very interesting DSP. It's a 48-bit DSP, which is uh, consisting of the loudness control, uh, which is uh, adjusting the frequency response according to the input volume. So we have a loudness control, and it's all 48-bit uh, DSP. Uh, that's also some equalizers, uh, limiters, crossovers. Uh, all you need is what is, 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 is inside the cabinet. So finally, what can I say else? Um, with this product, we try to use a revolutionary solution for mobile applications, um, which think about a different way of setting up and using a mobile system for example, rental companies. And thanks for your time. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Any questions? Yes. 140 dB, what frequency area? It's in 1K. Kilo, one kilo. But, uh, okay, now wait it then. Uh, safety. Uh, you have a cutting edges on the uh, metal framework there. Uh, how could, can you say that this is a safe thing to take it down when there is a, a big risk of having fingers left in between of the metal parts and so on? Do you want to? Sir? Safe thing about yeah. You you're coming from the backside of the cabinet to deinstall, so also uh, your two hands are on the backside of the satellite and also one hand on the bar you can see in the middle of the product. So there is no no chance to to cut your fingers inside. So we we try to. Okay, well I'm just going to carry on with that same one before I come on to my question. Mm. When you say there is no chance, there's always a possible of chance. Of Let's course. say you lower it down and someone does have the hand in that side. Will, is there enough space in there to allow your fingers to go around the metalwork as it comes down the side of the cabinet to stop them acting like a guillotine or will they be cut like a guillotine? Uh, <laughs> can you... I'm... Can you ask if, if you, you're saying there is no possibility that a hand could be there, mm -hmm. I'm saying let's say there is a hand there yes. and you lower it down, what is the outcome? Mm. About this you should be careful, that's right. <laughs> okay, so now on to my question. The whole unit, how much does it weigh? The whole unit weighs 65 kilo. Okay, obviously going to a lot of nightclubs, you will encounter staircases. How many handles are on that cabinet? So here we have two side handles and for a normal moving uh, when you uh, um, when you close the cabinet we have uh, the bar on the back side and as you could see in the video a little uh, you just draw it like uh, yeah, like a wagon. Like a okay, but, but obviously there will be certain circumstances that when the physical cabinet needs to be picked up by people. How many people can get round to pick this cabinet up? Yeah, two people. And it weighs 65 kilos? Yes. So how do you feel about manual handling regs and it not conforming to that? What is it? Excuse me, could you please repeat please? Uh, in this, uh, there is a, an act, manual handling, which gives you a specification of what people can lift. Right, a person cannot lift more than 20 kilos in a certain specific area, and that lowers down. Your cabinet weighs 65 kilos, therefore, two people lifting it, it will be over that 20 kilo mark. Okay, I got that point. Uh, inputs into the back of it, uh, does it have a built-in mixer or is it just straight XLR balanced inputs? Is there a mic preamp in there? What have you got? What can you plug into it? Uh, th there's a, uh, XLR inputs uh, uh, in, in, in back of the subwoofer and this all goes to the preamp unit and there's uh, three separate amplifiers which is uh, controlled by DSP. Okay, so, so it's an active system but um, so you can't just plug a microphone directly into the back of it. It doesn't have a mic preamp in there. It's, it's no, no, purely, it doesn't. It doesn't, have, it doesn't have. 
Okay. And how much does this cost? Uh, euros or, or sterling is fine. How much? The, the selling price you're yes. asking. Uh, it's not certain yet, but we're uh, we're trying and we're making research about it. Uh, we're just collecting uh, or making some PA survey. What, what kind of price, roughly? Nearest, nearest. But it's it's about uh, four thousand uh, euros per. Is that for a pair or is that for a single one? Uh, for single one, but it's the end price customer. Okay, and you, I assume you'll sell them in pairs, stereo stereo pairs. You'll sell them as. So stereo pairs, you have to buy two. Okay. And how much? Um, what's the, what, can, what do you need to plug it into? Can you plug it into a standard in, in the UK? Would you be able to plug it into a standard 13 amp main socket? Yes, no problem. What, what does it draw watts-wise power consumption? Uh, it's uh, this, the voltage, you're asking the voltage range, right? No, uh, what's, what's the current draw? Uh, mains current draw rather than amplifier current it's draw? It's 150 to 265 volt, and it's, uh, so you can plug in, in Europe, er, everywhere in Europe. Okay, but, but how, uh, how, how much current does it draw? Say we're at 240, 240 volts, what would the, what would the amp draw be? I didn't understand the question actually because this. Okay, why if, if, if 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 we plug it if we plug it into 240 volts. Yes. How many amps will it be drawing? How many amps? Yes. Actually, I don't know that information, but I have to ask to my technicians because. But uh, it's definitely under 13. Is not it? I cannot answer this question. What's the question? I don't so you're asking how much uh, amps is it uh, needed for? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to ascertain whether you can comfortably plug it into the wall in the United Kingdom or whether you have to run yes, special yes, power. Yes, yes, that's it. No problem. But you don't actually know. You don't actually know that because you can't actually tell me what the current draw is. I actually don't know, but it's not too much. It's not. Okay. Uh, Okay. Thank you. Thank for time.